I want to talk to you today about trusting when you don't understand. We all go through things in life that don't make sense. A friend walked out of a relationship. The company's downsizing. They don't need us anymore. Or we were being our best. Then the pandemic hit. Business went down. Children can't go to school. Dreams are put on hold. Sometimes it feels like we're going backwards. It's easy to live frustrated and think, God, why is this happening? But we're not going to understand everything that happens. God's ways are not our ways. He can see things that we can't see. And just because it's not fair doesn't mean that God is not in control. Your steps are being ordered by the Lord. If He allowed it to happen, He's going to bring good out of it. He promises all things work together for your good. On its own, it may not be good. It wasn't fair. You're uncomfortable. But when uncomfortable, but when it all comes together, you're going to see how it works to your advantage. The difficulty, the delay, the betrayal was all instrumental in you reaching your destiny. But none of us like bad breaks, loss, delay. But without that difficulty, you couldn't become who you were created to be. It may look like a dead end, but really it's setting you up for promotion. That door closed so a bigger door could open. That person that left you, it was hurtful, but it wasn't just their choice. God moved them out of the way so he could bring someone better. Well, that struggle was difficult. You didn't do anything wrong, but you had opposition at work. Your child wouldn't do what's right. It wasn't fair, but what you couldn't see is it was growing you up, developing your character, getting you stronger, more confident, more determined. Without it, you wouldn't be prepared for the blessing. Wouldn't be prepared for the blessing, the increase, the new levels that are coming your way. And you may not understand what you're going through. You could live worried, discouraged. Try a new approach. God, I don't understand it, but I trust you. I know you're in control. You're working all things for my good. So I'm not going to live upset. I'm going to stay in peace, knowing that you will get me to where I'm supposed to be. In John 13, Jesus was about to be crucified. He and his disciples were eating dinner together at what we now know as the Last Supper. These disciples had spent the last few years with Jesus, seeing incredible miracles, him heal the sick, raise Lazarus from the dead, feed thousands with a little boy's lunch. They were with Jesus when he made his triumphant entry into Jerusalem with people lining the streets shouting, Hosanna. It was an experience greater than they ever imagined. But that evening, but that evening, as they gathered for dinner, the mood quickly changed. Jesus told them how his hour had come, how he was going to be betrayed and crucified. Instead of people celebrating, they would mock him. After dinner, Jesus took a bowl of water and a towel, and he washed the disciples' feet. He said in verse 7, you don't realize now what I'm doing, but one day you will understand. Jesus was telling the disciples, in effect, you're going to walk through some things in the days to come that you don't understand. Up to this point, there's been people cheering me on, but now I'm about to be betrayed. There's going to be opposition, persecution. I said I would never leave you, but I'm about to be taken away. He knew they were going to feel lonely confused, afraid. So he told them right up front, you're not going to understand it now, but understand it now, but one day you will. Like these disciples, there will be times in life that you don't understand what God is doing. Things don't make sense. Trouble, delays, closed doors, people that betrayed you, prayers that haven't been answered. It doesn't make sense now, but don't worry one day you're going to understand. God is going to connect all the dots. He doesn't allow things that he doesn't have a purpose for. That trouble is not a surprise to God. The sickness didn't catch him off guard. The child getting off course is not going to stop his destiny. God is still on the throne. He's still ordering your steps. You can't see it right now, but behind the scenes, God is lining up things in your favor. When it's the right time, when it all comes together, it's going to work for your good. You're going to see the hand of God. You'll look to God. 
You'll look back and say, if that hadn't have happened, I wouldn't have this position. If that door hadn't have closed, I wouldn't have met this person. If I hadn't have gone through that difficulty, I wouldn't have stepped in to this new level. Now, don't waste your time trying to figure everything out. There are some things you're not supposed to understand right now. We can't see the plan of God. We can't fathom how he does things. We think natural, he's supernatural. And if you're always trying to figure it out, it's going to frustrate you. Instead of using that energy trying to understand what's happening, use it to thank God that he's working. Thank him that he's fighting your battles. Thank him that he's making your crooked places straight. Thank him that you're surrounded with his favor. The scripture says, God will work out his plan for your life. You don't have to work it out. You don't have to live frustrated. You don't have to live frustrated over what's not happening, discouraged over disappointments. You're not doing life by yourself. The creator of the universe is breathing in your direction. You keep honoring him, and he'll open the right doors. He'll bring the right people. He'll turn negative situations around. He'll make things happen that you couldn't make happen. His plan for your life is much bigger than your own. If you're going to stay in faith, you have to learn to trust when you don't understand. After Jesus was crucified, I'm sure the disciples thought, was he really the son of God? Did we waste our time with him? I thought he said he would never leave us. There was a time of doubt, confusion, where it looked like Jesus abandoned them. But as time went on, they began to realize the crucifixion was a part of God's plan. Judas betrayal was a part of the plan, the opposite plan, the opposition, the mocking, the ridicule. It all had to happen. It was leading to redemption, to salvation. Are you frustrated because you don't understand what God is doing? Upset because that friend betrayed you? Discouraged over the contract you lost? How do you know that's not leading you to your destiny? Without the betrayal, we wouldn't have salvation. Without that situation, you don't understand. You couldn't see the fullness of what God has in store. And sometimes we're trying to pray away what God is going to use to take us to the next level. I know it's uncomfortable, but the betrayals are necessary. The lonely nights are necessary. The delays, the struggles, it's all necessary. If Jesus couldn't reach his destiny without these things that don't make sense, that weren't fair, people that did him wrong, how can we reach our destiny? How can we reach our destiny without them? But the way to stay in faith is to recognize that it's all a part of God's plan. It's not happening by accident. The enemy didn't somehow get the controls of your life, wrestled them away from God. Now God is standing by, hoping things work out. God has you in the palm of his hand. Nothing can snatch you away. Him being for you is more than the world being against you. It's very freeing when you can say, God, I don't understand it, but I trust you. Doesn't seem fair, but I'm not going to live bitter. Had some bad breaks, disappointments, but I'm not going to go around sour. I know you're still in control, and you will work out your plan for my life. Friend of mine, when God designed the plan for your life, When he made your puzzle, so to speak, he didn't accidentally put in a wrong piece, something that didn't fit. He didn't leave something out. You have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Everything is serving his plan. But here's a key. He never said, you're going to understand everything. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. It's all going to make sense. He said, my ways are not your ways. He said, walk by faith and not by sight. You have to trust him when you don't understand. Stay in faith when it doesn't make sense. God is working behind the scenes in your life right now. You're on the verge of seeing him connect some dots. This is not the time to be discouraged. This is the time to stir your faith up. If you'll do this, I believe and declare you're about to step into a new level of favor. Breakthroughs, he breakthroughs, healing, divine connections, things you haven't understood in the past, you're about to understand. God is about to bring it together. You're going to see what he was up to 
in Jesus' name. If you receive it, can you say amen?